Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, the Spiritual Justice Channel. I'm Goddess Quita, you can call me Quita, either one would do. I answer to both. I've been getting a, quite a bit of downloads. I was studying Valak and Loki, which is the um, two-headed beast. Um, and then Spirit led me to talk about the mark of the beast. Okay. Um, the mark of the beast, um, let me give you the scriptures so you guys can understand what is being said here. Revelations 13 and 11, so it's, you can refer to Daniel 7 and 1 through 8. A lot of this has to do with the low key to Valak. Valak, Valak is not just, uh, um, a person or an entity or a principality it is your cell phone it is their internet because although we do have good good qualities and different things from the internet um that's what the bible is describing as the mark of the beast to be frank it's the internet it's is uh the 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 cell phone the cell phone is the one number one thing but we're gonna i'm gonna tell you how the most high gave this to me um let's go to revelations 13 and 11. it says then i saw a second beast coming out of the earth it had two two horns like a lamb two horns like a lamb the internet and the cell phone before the cell phone was the internet, right? Or however, they go hand in hand. But it spoke like a dragon. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf. And made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast whose fatal wound had been healed. So, this is describing what happened with the internet. How, at first, we didn't think that, you know, back in the day, it didn't take... To, I guess it didn't take root or whatever. However, it went. Um, it was wounded. It, it wasn't as prevalent as it is now. Then they healed that. Then then the internet became popular, very popular. You know, the Vine, YouTube, all that stuff became popular. It says it performed great signs. It gives you great signs. You go on here. You can watch anything you want. Get in touch with anybody you want at any given time. Um, it's pretty much. Uh, a full access is just data, data, just everywhere. Great signs. <laughs> That's great signs. Even causing fire to come down from heaven to earth in view, in full view of the people because of its signs was given power to perform on behalf of the first beast. When it's talking about fire, you got to understand that this is symbolic, meaning like lightning. That's like get, like lightning, like something happened at the drop of a dime, like it's like very fast. That's that's what that scripture is talking about. You have to understand this text was taken from a very old book, and when when we didn't speak the, this English language, we were speaking other languages. So you have to compensate for for the word discrepancy. That's why they could they, it was no word for fast. We could just say fast, and you know we understand what fast means. Back in the day, it didn't do that. It says because of the signs it was given, because of the because of the signs it was given, great power to perform on behalf of the first beast. <coughs> it deceived the inhabitants of the earth, meaning anybody that posts on here, we we've come to the conclusion we know that everything that's posted on the internet ain't real. But sometimes. Even though we know it ain't real, we still, our mind, perceive it as real. We don't, our, it's not, a, a, um, how can I put it? I don't even know the right words for it. It's not, how can I put it? Even though we know it's not real, we still act as if the stuff we see on the internet is real. Basically, we know it's not real, but we're still acting as if it's real. In order... It ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the sword, by the sword and yet lived. 
What's the image? What's the image for the internet? Google. What's the image? The cell phone. The, this little box. This little cell phone. Um. We honor it. We, we when we go to the store to purchase these devices, we 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 pay money for it. We honor it. It's like our God. When we wake up. We get on the, we we use the cell phone when we travel we use the cell phone we go to the bathroom we use the cell phone when we argue and fight we use the cell phone when we want to um know information we use the cell phone it's our god let's just be honest it's a god to us it's the cell phone when we want to um we can't find uh uh how to get to the store we use the cell phone we use the internet the computer we use the cell phone. We use the internet, the computer. Um, the second beast was given power to uh to to give breath the image of the first beast. It's just it's talking about the internet. Again, you have to understand that we they didn't have the wordage that we have now. Internet. We call it the internet. They didn't have that to say internet. So this is what we were given to understand what was uh, what was the beast the mark of the beast is your cell phone it's your computer it's the internet images great signs it's not i'm, I'm trying to make it as easy as it is uh as possible to uh understand what how i i got the, how the most high got this information and gave it to me um it can speak it says that the gay breath to the image meaning you go on the internet, you, you can make images. You can you can create on the internet, it, and it's not real. It's not happening in your 3D. It's something that you're pulling out your imagination. You can call chaos, or you can you can you can cause love. You can music, anything. Great signs, images of the first beast, so that the image could speak and cause all all who refuse to worship the image to be killed. Basically. If you don't know how to operate the internet, if you don't know how to operate a cell phone, you're not going to survive in this. Let's, the, 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 the way we are in this technology age, if you don't know how to work an internet, if you don't know how to work a cell phone, you're going to die. Simple. You cannot buy or sell without the internet. You cannot buy or sell without your cell phone. You either have to have a laptop, a computer, a tablet, or a cell phone. Let's just be honest. The internet is the mark of the beast. It's the, we already have taken the mark in your forehead. You're going to take uh, the code going to be in your forehead. Meaning, your bank account, your passwords is all in your forehead. You're going to have to, in your, the marks of the beast going to be in, in your hand. Go take it in your hands. We have to type. We have to type on the cell phone. We use our hands. The mark of the beast. Um, this is what the, the most high is giving me. It also forced all people, great and small, rich or poor, free or slave, to receive the mark on their hands or their forehead. Like I said, we already took it. When we watch, I watch the internet, you be on the internet, the kids go to school, be on the internet. We were forced to we were forced into this. We was we are forced. To what? No matter what you do, if you go to school, you have to know how to access the internet. You have to know how to get on a browser and use the browser. If you do not know how to get on the browser and use the browser, you cannot use the cell phone properly. You cannot research properly because you're not going to be able to buy or sell or to research anything to get anything because you do not know how to use the internet we have already taken the mark of the beast they don't need chips within us they put them into our devices and made it essential for us to use utilize the internet to utilize cell phones they made it essential for us to do this we were already forced without even knowing that we was forced to take the mark of the beast hear me hear, hear what the word is saying that's why God said, whoever have a hear, ear, let him hear what the word is saying, what God is saying. This is what God is saying. The internet is the mark of the beast. Your cell phone. If you, like I said, if you don't know how to add, add, uh, access, use that Google browser or any other browser, boo. You cannot research. You don't know how to buy or sell. You have to go online. What? To bank. Even if, if, if they got ATM, ATM machines, but if the ATM machine is down, what? You got to go inside the branch. And what does the branch use? A computer. What do the ATM use? Wi-Fi. A computer. Let's talk technology. 
this digital technology. Let's just be honest. This is the mark of the beast, you guys. So, um, so they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark, which is the name of the beast, the number of, uh, which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. It's telling you the name. It's, it's telling you the numbers. Numbers. <laughs> what has numbers? Uh, the internet. <laughs> you have to be, it has to be con uh, programmed into your computer. All these numbers, numbers. It keeps saying numbers. It says they had the mark, which is the number of the beast or the number of its name. The internet, the numbers, numbers, name. No matter how, when you go on the computer, if I, I test, if I press the S key, it's going to send a signal to my um, Wi-Fi or to the, uh, whatever you want to call it, what's inside the computer to the, um, I'm sorry, to the hardware, whatever, the software. But when it gets there, it's going to tell the computer, she pressed the S, but it's not going to say that I pressed the S. It's going to give a number. You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to break it down as simple as possible. It's going to give a number that I pressed the S, so it'll show up as an S, but in the computer system, it is reading numbers. It's giving numbers, numbers, okay? And name and numbers is the same thing in frequency terms. A S in the frequency could be a five. It's the same thing. If it's a five in frequency, it's a five all around the board. If I go to the Navy and say, I press the S, it's still going to be the number five. Number, name, it's the same thing. That language, that computer uh, engineering language rarely changes. It has a basic format. This calls for wisdom. You have to be wise to understand this. Some people get it because I've seen it floating around the internet a little bit. Not that much. I've seen it a little bit. Not that much. Nobody's taking key to this because we're so oh it's the internet. Uh, it can't be the mark of the beast. We have to take we all have our whole society uh, the whole world has already taken the mark of the beast. We have already Already take let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast. For it is a number of a man that is 666. Um, there is a discrepancy between if it's 666 or 616. There is a discrepancy um uh, within that. So I'm just gonna say that. I haven't um got that download yet. And when I do, you guys know I will post it. It says it's a number of a man. So it's describing to you who the person who created the internet, the person who is responsible for this mark of the beast, who created the internet, who created that, who made it where that we have to go on the internet to access files, who made it where we have to uh, G I G P S is hooked to the internet, who made it where our uh, bank accounts is hooked to the internet. The number of the man. Let's follow the content. Let's follow the knowledge. Who created the internet is when we came into this digital phase of things. Okay? I'm not saying it's good or evil. I'm just giving you the knowledge and you can discern with it whatever you please. At this given point in time, I have no opinion on this because we all accepted the mark. And we all have fallen short of the glory of God. Let's just be honest. I'm not saying repent from the internet. I'm not saying any of this, but I'm giving you the wisdom God has given me. And when it's time for me to speak on the next step, I will give you the next step or the next message or whatever. But right now, it says the mark of the beast is the number of the man. The number is 666 or 616. However, so hmm, it's pointing us to the person who created the internet, who created cell phones, who created computers. Not saying it's not a great uh, uh, invention, not saying none of that. But let's just be honest. That's what this scripture is pointing to. If we're making sense in the way that we're making sense, not, not saying that this is the only truth that you can get from this scripture, because it is not. God is a, 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 a multifaceted uh he, uh, how can I put it? Galactic human being. It is impossible for us to get everything at one time from one scripture. It is it is impossible. We do not carry that. We only have five to six senses. 
We used to have 360 senses. We do not have, we only have five of them to six of them right now. So we are not operating in our full capacity. So we cannot possibly uh, take all what is given into this scripture at one time. That's why we have to come back and you see people break down. Okay, I learned something new and they break it down for you. And they say, this is, this is how this is linked. And this is why. Uh, certain people have certain gifts that link up because this person can get this the truth and that person can get the truth and you link it up and you understand the whole truth of what God because God is not in one person. He's in all of us. She's not in one person. She's in all of us. So you need to understand that too. So this one truth is not just just this one solid truth. It's not just this one thing. You can come back and get many truths from this one scripture, depending on what the word or what the Holy Spirit or what the Most High is saying unto his people, unto his sheep, unto you, unto me. So, that being said, we're talking about the internet and the cell phone and the computers and all these gadgets and this digital ages. Um, and that's, that's just what it is. The beast is the number of a man. It's pointing you to the person who created the internet. So, I guess, I don't know. We'll see what happens next. What the most high want me to do next with this information. I am just here to point it out to you guys. I'm here to give you the revelation God has given me. The understanding, the insights that God has given me. The mark of the beast is the internet, the cell phone, the computers. This is the mark of the beast. Because... Anybody who's in high position, they don't have to know you personally. They can go pull up your profile and, okay, this person had this disease then, this person's going to die from it, and they can pretty much predict and move you around how they want you to move around simply by digital knowledge, by digital access, by digital files upon you, your kids. It doesn't take much to control you because they know how much your finances is. They know what's coming in, what's going out. They got you already in slavery because we're in a digital slavery that's all it is we're in digital slavery no matter how much how much money you make or how much, how little money you make you're in digital slavery you can't say you are we all have taken the mark of the beast we all if you're a youtube youtuber if you're a creator if you will have an instagram account a youtube account a bank account anything you bank online you have already taken the mark of the beast Let's just make that clear. And um, the market of is, is simply saying this is something you cannot buy or so you cannot. You cannot. If, even if you um, have an um, EBT card, oh, EBT, it, everything is online now. Well, you have to apply for EBT online. You you can rarely, only if uh, somebody is like handicapped, that they will even assist you, accommodate you at um, uh, 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 the office simply because you have a computer, you have a laptop. they making it prominent where, oh, okay, let's fix up this little bit of laptop. Let's give them a little bit of internet just so they can keep digital profiles on you. Who is doing this? God is leading you. So the person that's doing this, who created the internet? Who's running the internet? Who's running these apps? Who's running this? Who's running that? You have to look at who's in charge. That's who's responsible. So we have already taken the mark of the beast. Unwillingly and willingly. Most of us done it willingly because we didn't know any better. Now you know better. What are you going to do with this? What am I going to do with this? You get what I'm saying? We are all in the same category here. Make no mistake, I'm not preaching at nobody or nothing. I'm just giving the information as it came to me. The mark of the beast is the internet, the number of a man. And when they say the number of the man, it breaks it down from step by step. Great images, great signs, wonders, and awe, and this and that. The, mark, the, the internet can harm you and record you and, and hurt you in different ways, record your pain. It, it's telling you within symbolic text. Of what is what the most high uh, wanted you to know what what the mark of the beast is and this is a beast the, the internet is a beast you can make money with the internet you can be exposed on the internet it's, you can do banking on the internet you have to buy, buy yourself or don't you don't have a computer at home oh we'll ship it one to you okay you don't have Wi-Fi oh it's only thirty dollars a month you know what I mean they'll make it where that you have a digital print so they can know about you Know what you like, your dislikes, your aunt. Like, when the last time you went to the doctor? When, what, when the last time you had a toothache? Did you even go to the doctor? Oh, you didn't go to the doctor. You haven't, so we don't have this. So what you been doing with yourself? What have you been doing 
that you can't go to the doctor, that you have, that you think you don't need a doctor. They take that offensively because they can pull you up in their systems. They're taking notes and files on everything and everyone. So it's about control. And that's the mark of the beast, the digital control. Anybody like scammers, that's why it's so easy for scammers to hack in. Oh, let, let me go ahead and hack into the bank systems, to medical records, to stuff that's really should be private for most people. And it's not. And they act like it is. Even your social security number is not private anymore. It's just not. And they're, oh, well, we'll give you, uh, we're going to give you protection, but they already see everything you're doing. Oh, nobody came and stole nothing from you, but they stole your privacy from you. They stole your right to have privacy. That's what's being stolen here. People want to talk about uh, uh, these uh, human rights and stuff like that, which is very important. But the reason why they can do this, because we already gave our privacy away. They feel like, okay, this 10-year-old was raped. Oh, we don't care. Like, it's it's very not minute. It's like one case out of a million. That's because that's they're going on the statistical number of it. And they're just looking at statistics. And that's, that's what God is like, no, no. You know what I mean? We're not just numbers. We're human beings and we're souls. If one of us is lacking in this world, then we're all lacking. And, and that's just what it is. We're, we're our weakest person in this world. So if we have homeless people in this world, America is homeless. That's just what it is. Because that means if that person can be homeless, so, so can you. That can happen to you too. You're just not their target right th at that time. If they're having hungry people in this world, so can you. You can be hungry too. It's just a turn of events to make you hungry. They can calculate things to make you go hungry. They can calculate risk and, and, and digitize what can make you go hungry or what can make you like act out, be crazy. They're, they're digitalizing all of this. Your weaknesses, your strengths. When the last time you had XCD, how many times you have sex, how many sexual partners you have. This is all being monetized by the elites, the people that creates these things, the people that is in charge. And you think they have a digital footprint? Yeah, just so you can know who they are, but you don't know how they moving their money and all that. We don't, we don't get that privy because our privacy have been stripped and we let them. We should be at this point fighting so for privacy laws on cell phones, on computers, limiting these people access to us but we're not we're giving them free free range we're going buying five six hundred thousand dollar cell phones and and thinking we're blinged out and that's that's not the new bling you they're calling you fools every step of the way all of us because you're spending money on them to spy on you you're buying um stuff you're buying digital devices and stuff so they can spy on you you're paying for the internet they use to spy on you <laughs> all right you guys I, i'm through i'm done the most high done that came out and showed out and the most high has proven their point and it's up to us to fight as a people to get our rights back to be in control to be empowered to be empowered to have control over what we see or what we don't see or what we want to hear it's the people's right to be empowered. It is not for the elites. It is not for one person to decide that we are statistical numbers. That, oh, women don't, women are just uteruses. Um, a, a person with a uterus. Um, no, we're not. We are, we are, we are multifaceted human beings. We have spirits. We have, um, we have souls. Not only we have souls, we have opinions. We have real feelings, and they're not. They're leaving all of that out because they're they're putting us in a database, in a statistical statistical database. That's exactly what they're doing. Putting us in a statistical database. Our feelings, our emotions, and categorize categorize us as a digital number, as a digital footprint. That's it. We're nothing more than that. And then as soon as you're not on their agenda or what they looking for not the targeted individual you're cast to the wayside just like that and that's not how the most high operates so this is why the most high is giving us this knowledge so that we can brace ourselves so that we can take our power back we can stand up to the people and say yo we want our privacy right rights back we we want this we want that we want this it's up to us but as long as they tricking us into buying devices so they can spy on us 
tricking us to pay for internet so that they can spy on us and see what we're doing. We don't care because as long as we're entertained, I care. I freaking care. I don't want to just be entertained. I want to be in control of my life and my, my, and they, oh, we're keeping you safe. How? How? You're the one that's causing the issues. How? Y'all have wars that's, a, that's personal and y'all use the, they, they, they use the very, uh, how we can say innocent people, common people, local people as collateral damage into their, what, ego field wars and, and battles and, you know, <laughs> You get where I'm going with this. You get what I'm going with this. And then they use us as just digital numbers. We're not, we have names, but our names turn into literally digital numbers. You already have a social security number that's attached to you when you're born. And not only that, do you mean to tell me after I'm born, I got to work and do all this. And then you want my digital footprint. Then you want to have access to me without having access to me. And then you want me to pay for it. And on top of that. We have to be smarter than this, you guys. We have to do better. I'm out. You know, I can go for another 10, 15 minutes, but I'm out. Peace.